am Josh and I play drums for the Scoundrels. I am Ned and I am the singer and rhythm guitarist for Scoundrels. I'm George and I'm the lead guitarist and backing vocalist for the Scoundrels. I'm Billy and I play uh, bass for Scoundrels. We're from England, the south of England. We're all from various places. Billy's from Chiswick in West London. George is originally from Salisbury. I'm from Lewis. And Josh is from Cranley in, the, in Surrey. So we're all from the south, basically, but converged on London. We were lucky enough to be sent out, well, got a year and a half ago to, to record our debut album um, in South Louisiana, mainly in Lafayette. Uh, with a guy called C.C. Adcock, so we lived on the swamp for about two months on a sort of houseboat and then we went up to work with Steve Albini in Chicago um, and we sort of, the idea was to soak up the kind of sudden Cajun vibe and get schooled by the local musicians and, and record an album. We all sort of really were welcomed with open arms by everyone, it was, just, yeah. it was amazing, it was an incredible experience actually. We miss it a lot. Yeah, we all want to go back, basically. Yeah. Look, I think everyone would say the same thing, is that, you know, we ha generally, I suppose, we, we our musical influences, although although they are diverse, generally our favourite things are quite sort of vintage and kind of 50s, uh, sort of Louisiana music and rock and roll and stuff like that. Generally, you know, music from America, really. And when you're in England and you listen to that, you kind of... I don't know, it's it's all a take on it, but actually to go there and see how they do it and see how much better they are than yourselves, uh, you know, the, uh, is quite an eye-opener. So to go there itself was just an amazing... But if you're playing and full stop, you've got to be around people who are better than you. Or if you're doing anything, you've got to be doing... Mm. Be around people who are better than you, otherwise you just can't really get better. And also discovering, like, new music. Like, we never heard of Zydeco before, and there's that... Like, a long time for my brains to compute with that. Yeah, the Zydeco um, and the groove down there is just, it's just totally infectious and just generally, it's so steeped in just culturally and music. Really, it's just really, really amazing. First, you hear those whining squeeze boxes, and you're like, yeah. you know? but then after a little bit, it grows on you until when you get home, the only thing you're listening to is whining squeeze boxes. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, we sometimes have an accordion. Because we've got a mate in London called CJ, and he, he's just started. We he's sent him out to Lafayette, actually. Yeah. yeah. He went out there, uh, and he was, as as just as we were, completely welcomed with open arms. Blown away. Blown away, and came back, and basically he's got, now got one of those, what are they call it? Washboards. Washboard. Washboard. Washboard, one yeah. of the washboards, and squeeze box. And yeah, and he's just, he's all louisiana out. Yeah. With his dress big way. And <laughs> just gone crazy, really. <laughs> Beijing, we Beijing. Yeah. Yeah, we did Beijing. Yeah. I thought you forgot. Is that going to be on the EP? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> like we said yesterday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Beijing Honey has kind of uh, got that sort of, I don't know, it's got that kind of Chinesey riff. Um, it was my cousin actually that came up with the name Beijing Honey. We kind of didn't have a name for it when we were playing it. We kind of knew the melodies and the bits and, and um, yeah, that was it. Yeah, Beijing Honey. So it's a good, it's kind of got loads of licks and riffs and got lots of little intricate changes and sounds it's good to you. And then Sexy Weekend is, is a little sort of ballad about spending a week, a romantic weekend on your own by the seaside really. As most people have done at one point in their lives. <laughs> or twice in their lives. <laughs> or well, several times a day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, my. Sexy weekend, lately.